Welcome to Infinite Options. In this video, we'll give you a quick walkthrough of everything there is to know about getting started with Infinite Options. Starting in the dashboard, you'll find your installation steps checklist. While you do have the app added to your apps list, you will still need to install it to your theme. You can refer to our guide for help with installing the app to your theme, but if you run into any trouble with that, you can request our expert install service to have a member from our team handle the installation process for you. The expert install will configure your theme and email templates to ensure infinite options is fully optimized for the options you create. After installation is taken care of, you'll want to create your options. For that, we'll head to the Option Sets page. The Option Sets page is where you'll spend the majority of your time in the Infinite Options app. This space is where all the magic happens. Create options with a few clicks and organize options for different products within their own option sets. For more information on the option set creation and editing process, refer to our in-depth tutorial. Don't forget the part where you learn how to add prices to option selections with native bundling. When your options are created and assigned to your products, sometimes you'll want to customize how they look style-wise to make sure they match your theme or desired layout. To do so, you can make styling changes on the settings page. We have preset CSS snippets that style your options based on your theme, and we also offer CSS snippets for customizing any swatch options you create. When you add any of the snippets, they'll appear in the Installed Snippets section to remind you of the styling that's currently active. After adding the snippets, you'll see them populate in the Custom CSS code block. This area is reserved for advanced CSS customization if you're familiar with styling CSS, but we also have a guide that helps you learn how to style options for our app. You can also enable or disable the app as well as native bundling from settings as well. You will find information about your plan features in the plan page, and the help page will provide you with a number of links to helpful documentation and how to contact support. Thank you for watching this guide. We hope you found it helpful. Cheers!